Hi everyone, welcome to the KOps channel. I'm Rafael Lima and today we're going to create a new command to create new command. So right now we have a file that we need to copy and paste it to create a new command, but we are going to create a, a new subcommand uh, in the menus, but now we're going to create a new command to do that for us automatically. Right, so if you haven't subscribed, please do so, hit the bell to receive notifications of my next videos. I'm also going to be posting the links for my previous ones. Cool. So we have here the BB, BB, BB8. The first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to rename this because the BB is already the BB8 and BB, BB8 makes it's it's weird. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rename this to CLI. I'm going to refactor. I'm going to see reference to this. This is just here and here, right? If I cancel, it's not going to go, but then I need to authorize. And then greetings from BB8. That's what it changed, BB8. Cool. So now I have BB, BB CLI, which makes more sense when you are reading, right? BB, BB8, BB CLI. So we are interacting with the CLI itself. I can do BB hello, BB8 is talking to me, and I can do BB CLI update, and it's going to BB CLI update is more, feels more right, right? Semantically. Cool. So now we're going to create a new command, right? And I'm going to just copy this here because it's faster. So new command, I, and I'm going to say command name, and this becomes command name. Create a new CLI in the BB8 CLI, create a new command in the BB8 CLI subcommand, name of the new subcommand. Cool. Right, so the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to need a file as a template. So we already have this template here, which does not do much. I'm going to change this to description of the awesome new command. I'm going to description of the action. And here I'm going to change to Incian and I want to say hello and the name of the user. This is an example of a new subcommand. And here is also subcommand. Cool. Now if I do BB set a template and I do action. All right, and BB templates also description of the option new command. Cool. Now I'm going to move this to here to resources, and I'm going to rename it to no, not resource. I'm going to re to inside here, and I'm going to yeah, and I'm going to rename it to uh, let me think a new command sub command template. It doesn't need to be uppercase. Cool. Awesome. So now let me go back here. Now I can create a variable called uh, new sub command template. And this is going to be in the resources dir and the name of the file is new subcommand template now i can come here and i can create my new command and the first thing that i'm going to do i'm going to validate if that exists because the person can Come here, do BB CLI new command and doesn't send anything. So 
it needs to have the, a name for the command. So it's dash z to check if the string is empty. So if, oh, I need to get the value, right? Uh, sub command name, it's on the variable two. If the sub command name is empty, then send a message saying you need to specify the name of the new command, sub command. And I need to stop the script, right? Exit zero, stop the script. Cool, now I need to uh, tell a message to the user saying, creating a new sub command called sub command name. And now I'm going to do, I need to copy, I'm going to copy this to the place where I want. And how I'm going to do that? I'm going to use the cp command on my resources folder and do new sub command, which is the name of the file right here, and to the directory, and I'm going to call it anything. When I do bb now, anything's already here, and I, I can interact with anything, right? So let me delete this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the if command, but I'm going to do the if command inside the if block because if it passes, uh, I'm going to know or not and I can treat it. All right, so if cp sub command template. So copy sub command template to sub commands dir. We already have that variable. Slash sub command name. So I'm saying copy this file to this directory under this name. Then I'm going, I'm going to say a name not in CN in green saying command sub command created. You now can execute the main command space sub command name. I close it and I can do a else here and say in red fail to create subcommand and the subcommand name. And I'm also going to put this between uh, single uh, quotes. All right, uh, specify. Cool, so if I do bb anything, uh, cli new command, it's going to ask me to specify, and now I'm going to say something. It created something, I can do bb something, and I can do action. Right, I also, but there is a problem. Right, so if I, the, the file is here, right, but if I redo this, I, let's say I change it something, I, now it's, I remove this, I don't want this anymore, I did some change, worked on it, and now if I do something action, sorry, if I do the same, the new command is going to override it, and I lost what I did, right? So the way to fix this is I need to ask the user what the user wants to do, right? So I can do on my CLI, I can do on the CP, CP dash I 
for interactive. So now when I do this, it's going to ask, do you want to override? If I override, awesome, it's going to override. If I do not override, it's going to say fail to create subcommand something. Right, cool. So now I have a simple way to interact with the, to, to, to understand the flow. And also I don't need to worry about if the file exists or not, the, the, the CP command is going to do that for me. Of course, this is very simple, right? Uh, I could just copy and paste it here and then change the name manually and work on whatever I wanted. But uh, having this, I can change the behavior on the fly if I need to. This is very simple, but it could be a little bit more complex and I could have to do something new on a new command. I, 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 I could have to figure out variables. I, had to, I could do something more complex than just uh, a simple file copying, right? Cool, so that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive notifications of my next videos. I'm all, uh, and if you haven't, if you like it, give the thumbs up. And it's very important that you do because that's how the channel can keep growing. Thank you.